Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age Inquisition, and we're just gonna run around the hinterlands for a while, you know. See what we can find. Maybe go into Valimar after a bit. Shouldn't you be married off by now, Sparkler? Little magelets running amok. If my family had their way. Had someone lined up for you, huh? Livia Herodinus. Bright girl, hourglass figure, wicked tongue. Relieved I'm gone, I expect. Sounds like you two would have made a happy couple. Oh, yes. Trading coy insults at every party would have been a delight. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Dorian swings that way. Which is fair. Here it is. Stop setting me on fire! I see. I see. That was a rage demon and a despair demon. Well, I got rid of two anyway. Ugh, these despair demons are icky. They do bad things. They do bad things. I don't like them. Alright. And I admittedly don't have an optimal party either, so... There's that. <laughs> What's going on over here? A letter found on a corpse. If you find this, the bleeding didn't stop. My family lives at the Redcliffe Farms. Make or bless you if you could take my last words to them. I didn't run, didn't abandon them. I thought I could get enough to help. Fool that I was. All I got was my guts torn out. A letter written in a shaky hand, along with a scrawled map of the Redcliffe Farms. Alright. Sounds like this fella needs his family contacted, so we can do that. At some point. Dorian died. The heck? Oh my goodness. You jerk asses. All right. 
Okay. Mercenaries? Looks like Carta. Lyrium smuggling would be profitable around here. Indeed. Alright, so they are Carta. But we could have but I we knew that from uh, from that letter we found in the in the villa. Nonetheless, uh, we're gonna go inside. Might as well, am I right? Must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, all right then. Okay, cool. Uh, what would be down here? Let's find out, kiddos. Money. Well, that's something. 
lustrous cotton. Okay. I think that's it. Aid touched high ever weave. Alright then. Card a note on security. We should be secure enough from outsiders. I'm more concerned about attracting Darkspawn from the lower levels. We don't have the manpower to push them farther in. Keep the product on the upper levels and barricade the bridge. Alright. So sounds like they were having Darkspawn trouble. That uh, doesn't shock me. Ooh, yeah, that uh, grenade recipe. Uh, what was that one that I found? Pitch grenade, yeah. Alright, let's press on. Um, Varric, would you do the honors, sir? Can you now let me in? Thanks. Sir, defaced Carta notice. Much of Valimar remains closed to us. Anyone interested in changing that should meet here tomorrow, one hour past noon. T. A series of notes has been scrawled below this notice. Stop wasting time on that damn door. I don't care what's behind it. The mechanism's broken. More importantly, who cares? We have product to move, and you want to see if some ancient dwarf locked up the good tea set? We're shorthanded as it is. If I hear you've taken another another group to the lower levels in search of gears, I'll make you sorry, L. First of all, I think this place used to be a trade post. There could be something valuable behind that door. And just how will you make me sorry, T? I'll use my imagination and knives, L. Okay. An angry note. First Liska, now Brenor. Caught him trying to steal some of the product. Just a little bit. Just to keep, he says. Nug shit. Trying to make a little extra on the side, thinking I wouldn't notice. I will not be undermined. Your cousin said we could trust Brenor, so you handle it. If I'm not happy, you won't be either. Okay. Somebody's a little pissy. If this is the product, then yeah, there's quite a bit of it. Darkspawn. How many can we expect to encounter? Blackwall? It's hard to say. Keep your guard up. <laughs> well, that's helpful. I guess Darn it. I've had enough in position. 
Unfortunately, I don't care. Is there more dark spawn out here or something? Oh yeah, there you are. Hello. Alright. Well, let's see here. Orders for lake operations. Check on operations at the lake. Make sure they're doing their jobs down there. Don't let them give you shit about the wildlife. I don't care. Take Liska with you. Give her something to do. She's been on edge, complaining about humming or some nonsense. If she can't handle the job, deal with it. Okay. Report on activity in the hinterlands. The soldiers call themselves the Inquisition. They've been helping the refugees near Redcliffe, poking around a fair bit too, though they haven't come near here. They have someone with a trick for closing those rifts. I've heard claims she's some sort of prophet. All that whining about mages, but this one's magic is just fine. <laughs> what happened in Haven must have been crazier than we thought. Not sure if she's got any allies in Redcliffe or with those nuts in the hills, but if those mercenaries do their job, we won't have a problem. Still, be careful out there. They've been mm -hmm. watching our movements. Yeah. Personal note scrawled in a ledger. It's good, though read. With the Templars severing ties to the Chantry, we should find buyers easily enough. It has to be the right buyer, though. Don't want anyone who will get ideas. We need to control distribution. If travel across Lake Callanhad is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source, the take could be huge. Once we have a firm grip on the current operation, we can look into expansion. Alright. Here's a gear. So, I guess we're going to open a door or something. Darktown's Deal. Ask the nobles of Orzammar how their kingdom gets silks and grain and wine from the surface, and they'll tell you trade with the surface occurs. It occurs, as if on its own, with no traders or merchants or human farmers involved. A little miracle of dwarven ingenuity. The reality is a lot messier than their fantasy. Orzammar relies upon the surface not just for its prosperity, but for its survival. Ages of blights have taken thousands of tigs away from the dwarves. These were the places where most of the food was raised. The dwarven kingdom that endured alone, independent, beneath the stone from time immemorial, perished in the first blight, faded into myth. Now, the remaining dwarves underground cling to existence through a lifeline to the surface, a chain forged from the castless. Every dwarf who goes to the surface is stripped of caste, effectively exiled and removed from dwarven society forever. But Orzammar relies on continued relations with these exiles to live. This has created a shadowy area of dwarven trade and politics where the rich, powerful, and elite maintain secret ties to people who, by official decree, no longer exist. And everyone knows what kinds of things lurk in the shadows. The Carta lives in the underbelly of the surface trade like a tapeworm. Many surface dwarves maintain ties, not officially recognized, of course, but respectable to their former houses in the noble or merchant castes, and those contacts are their means of trading with Orzammar. Those who have no ties, because they were cast off by their families or never had good connections, make the trip back underground to trade with Orzammar personally, where they find themselves treated like criminals. A castless in Orzammar, even a wealthy one from the surface, will be driven away from most merchants, treated like he's carrying a plague at best. So these surface merchants turn to the Carta for help. The Carta acts as a contact in Orzammar for surface businesses, and sells their goods on the black market. For a cut, of course. The Carta always gets its cut. The outraged citizens of Orzammar sometimes petition the assembly to deal with the rampant crime surrounding the black market, and showy displays are made of kicking in the doors to Carta hideouts and raising Dusttown. Hey, that's exactly what Ariadne ML did. <laughs> 
But the carta always comes back, because the assembly always allows it to. Always allows it. Too much of Orzammar is dependent on the black market trade, and the nobles know it. They all do business with the carta. Everyone has a stake in its success. The carta has a thousand faces above and below the surface. Honest merchants and noble caste lords and upstanding members of the Merchants Guild, all a cover for the thousands more smugglers, thieves, and murderers in the shadows. The lifeline of Orzammar. Praise the ancestors. Excerpted from Dark Town's Deal by Varric Tethris. I love how bitter Varric is about it. Like, he's totally... He's totally right. <laughs> and he's also a little bit bitter. Hello. All right, cool. Let's, uh... Move over in this direction. Halls of the Elders. Barrack, if you please. A loot, a mosaic piece. Another loot. Dwarven gear. Another loot. Might as well unlock this door while we're at it. The dark spawn are coming up through here. Someone should do something about that. Yeah, I think I might. Good. Let's yeah, fix this. Let's hope that holds the dark spawn back. Let's hope. Let's open that door. Get in that vault, see what's inside. You know, the fun stuff. Okay. And we'll turn the other one to... Worth hiding here. Well, looks like probably some dark spawn, indeed.
All right. out over here. Alright. Alright. Another mosaic piece. So that was nice. Uh, upgrade for Bianca. So that's alright. Bunch of Drake stone, which is fine. I'm okay with Drake stone. A dwarven banner. Hey, that's all right. I mean, you know, definitely some stuff. It's all right. All right, let's head out. Back in the beginning. Back in the uh, entrance area. So cool.
almost gone. I don't know how much longer she would have lasted. I don't think that worked. Damn it. Have news, sir. Okay, um, this is actually, I think, relatively easy, she said just before she...
Yeah. Relatively easy. Draconis. Called a high dragon in common parlance, the constellation Draconis is always depicted by a dragon in flight. Recently, it has come into question whether this was the case in the ancient Imperium. Most of interdragon imagery was reserved for the old gods, so why would they dedicate a constellation to dragons in general when specific dragons were held in such reverence? This speculation is fueled by older drawings showing Draconis as more serpentine in appearance, perhaps depicting a sea creature or an unknown eighth old god that was stricken from historical record. Interesting. Also interesting is the cave that I can now enter. Yippee! I like that um, this, the watchtower actually got built. Like, here it is. Like, it's really there. That's cool. That's a nice little detail.
right, here's our cave. Let's see what my prize is. Uh, decent enough dagger, but not actually as good as the ones that I already gave Cole, so... But that's okay. I'll sell it. It's money. That's how I feel about it. Like, I'm never- I never begrudge... Uh... Like, I, I never get really mad about subpar loot or whatever, because it's like, even if it's subpar and I can't use it personally, like... I can- it's fine. I can sell it. It's money. It's- that's, that's literally free money that I just picked up off the ground, so it's fine. Okay, I think just about everything else that I have to do uh, requires me to go into this last area of, of the Hinterlands, and uh, I am not going to go into that area just yet. I'm, I'm going to wait for a while to do that, because that's a, a, that's a dragon lair. Literally, it's a dragon lair. And I'm going to wait for a while to do any dragons, so... Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and call the Hinterlands good for now. Uh, the only other quest I have here is this one, which requires Felandaris, and I don't have Felandaris, so... Uh, once I get some Fel whenever I get some Felandaris, which will be later, eventually, then I'll come back and, and do that one. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the Hinterlands, uh, for now. So, um, yeah, we'll leave it here. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!